Well, that was a, d a disappointing uh, loss for us. Um, Congratulations to Baylor. They got a good football team, a tremendous quarterback, and a defense that uh, really is fast. And there's a reason why they're five and zero and playing at a high level. We uh, told the guys we we're, we're going to be good, but we've got to fix some problems and we've got to fix some issues that uh, uh, have crept up the last couple of weeks. And um, you know we we have it in front of us. There's tons to play for, and uh, uh, in front of us is our job to do the right thing. And the one thing that uh, um, we have to do is stay together. That's the first thing. We've got a bunch of seniors in there that uh, I think uh, I know want to be great, and uh, I'm going to challenge those guys to make sure that uh, we keep moving forward. Obviously, you look offensively, we've got to be able to sustain drives. We had some, some good plays, but not enough sustained drives together. Uh, and um, defensively, uh, we have to tackle better. It, it was um, uh, an awful display uh, of tackling uh, downfield, and um, we gave them – a couple of scores um, because either we missed the cup and and didn't fit it right or uh, they bounce off us and that's something that we've been emphasizing and talking about is not block tackling and wrapping up and it's something we we're, we're going to get corrected so we'll open it up for questions how devastating was the 98 yard scoring drive and then the 91 yard scoring drive that Baylor had yeah the 98 one was the was the big one because Devin does a great job of pinning them down in a field position game and it's three to three and both defenses are playing well and uh, and lo and behold, they, they make a couple of plays. We, we, we miss a tackle, and the kid goes for about 29, and, and that, that hurt. And then the, they ran a double move. And, um, you know, that was a good job by those guys. Obviously a poor, poor job by us uh, not getting a critical stop, whether it's, it's 10 to 3 rather than it's 3 to 3. And potentially if we go 3 and out, 5 and out, um, we got the ball at midfield. But we didn't, and uh, that was a big, big drive, big series. Well, A, we've, we've still got to be able to run the football. I mean, that's, that's what we have to be able to do. We can't have Skyler back there throwing it, it 50 times a game. And, and uh, you know, he threw it 34. We'd rather have him in the 25 to 30 range. But we have to be able to sustain some things running the football, uh, wherever it may be. Uh, and, you know, Malik tried to go today, um, wasn't able to go uh, after a, a series or two. I, I appreciate the, the young man because, you know, he wanted to play for his, for his brothers and stuff, and he, he couldn't do some things. Uh, Philip did some good things, um, but we've got to have, um, you know, more production uh, as a whole offensively, and something that we'll continue to work on. Um, you mentioned Malik. I know it's early, but I was curious if you had any understanding of uh, his thought process going forward, and then Jordan Brown. Yeah, uh, don't have anything on Malik, and Jordan's probably a few weeks injury. How much has the, the confidence of the offense been hurt now for the last few weeks? Um, well, you're always going to be hurt a little bit just because you, you want to be successful. Uh, but, uh, you know, you, you have to keep powering through it. You have to keep finding ways to, to matriculate some offense. And I thought we did a better job today than we did last week. Once again, we just weren't able to sustain it. But uh, uh, we've got a winner that's a quarterback. Uh, we've got a, a bunch of seniors in the offensive line that we've got to continue to challenge, and, and, and we'll get it flipped. Um, probably a combination of, of a number of things. Not necessarily the three-man front, but more blitzes um, people are running against us. Um, and I, I thought early on they were blitzing the heck out of us, and we did a really good job. Skyler did of checking off to a lot of quick, quick throws and quick hitches, and those were good. And then they kept the blitzes on, but they rolled their coverage, which took a few things away. Uh, but, uh, uh, no, we have – a really good plan for the three down. We just didn't execute the plan, and it's something we have to continue to get better at. Um, some of those obviously were late. We're trying to make some plays, but uh, we we can't have those. I mean, we have a, you know, I think a third and one coming right out of the second half, and it's you know, it's what is a one score game, and, and they stuff us and they go down and, and score. That was because we'd move the ball, and then we get a third and one and lose two and. Um, you know, we have to be able to sustain those drives. You have six possessions in the second half. Five of them end up in uh, Baylor territory and just one touchdown. What seems to be the thing with your offense maybe holding them back? From just, cons just consistency. That's bottom line. We just got to be more consistent on offense. When, when the team loses two in a row, are you seeing any dip in confidence? Like I said, you, you, 
that's human nature. Um, but that's our jobs as coaches to, to get them back and the jobs of seniors. You know, we all are accountable. We all have to be better. It starts with me. And, and I've got to be better um, and, and make sure and push the right buttons. And the seniors have to uh, be better. Everybody's got to uh, get invested a little bit more so that um, we can get this thing turned. And, and once again, we're going to get it turned. We're, you know, we're, we're, we're three and two. Um, we have a bye week, probably not at a great time, but we have the bye week, so we've got to utilize it and get better. Coach, during the week you had mentioned that, um, you know, with every, every new system, there's going to be um, some adjustments that need to be made, uh, mm -hmm. um, especially on the offensive line. Um, with five seniors up front, I guess how disappointing is it that they have to be in that? Well, we saw it a little bit better today, but... Um, you know, we can't put it all on, on those guys. Um, you know, we, th those guys are, are playing their butts off. We just got to continue to improve and um, give, them some, give them some better options maybe in, in whatever it is offensively, um, play calling and those things. And I'm not questioning the play calling. Don't, don't start that with mess. We just have to find some ways that they feel some confidence. And we, I thought, you know, we, in the second half, we had some confidence running the football. Um, once again, we just couldn't sustain it. I don't let nothing. This is a new season, new new stuff, and let's focus on K State. I guess just in hindsight, any regrets in not being more aggressive on fourth down? A couple of instances of field goal. Yeah, we it, once again, it's all the feel, all the flow of it, and and um, you know you're fourth and three, fourth and four, and um, you, you're not r running the football exceptionally well. Um, you know, I wanted to try to keep the game as close as we could to give us a chance in the fourth quarter, uh, and uh, so that's kind of why we did it. Are you trying to stay away from running Skyler very much? Because the, time, the times you have run him, mm -hmm. it, it has worked. But are you, you kind of trying yeah, to we're picking and choosing our spots. Um, you know, we had a couple of draws for him and stuff, but um, you know, we, we're trying to eliminate some of the shots on the guy uh, without question, and and. Uh, some of the reads are give reads. Um, some of the jet stuff we run are more give reads uh, on the perimeter and not keep reads. So some of that's, it's a called potential quarterback run. I thought he did a really good job for a freshman. We got Josh involved, we got Joe Irvin involved, we got Chris Heron involved. We're trying to uh, find a few more playmakers and um, you know, those guys, Made some plays, probably made some mistakes, but uh, they're they're making them fast and um, good chance in the open week for us to continue to try to um, find some guys that can give us some production. Last, last season, and I'm talking about last season uh, at K State, um, one of the issues was you know, passing touchdowns. Yep. K State didn't get the ball in the end zone with the pass very often. What what's been the struggles there right now that you've been able to identify? Consistency, you know. That, that's the biggest thing. Um, I don't know what happened last year, um, but this year we just we just have to be more consistent, uh, especially in the red zone. Skyler seems to be taking a lot of hits, you know, also for six sacks tonight. In what yep. ways can you find to uh, protect him a little bit? Well, he's such a competitor that he's he's you know he's trying to always make a play, and that's one of the things I love about Skyler is is uh, he's a competitor, wants to make plays, and. Um, you know, sometimes maybe it'd be better to just throw it away. And those are things that, you know, um, as an older guy, you want to make sure and find a way to keep it alive. But, uh, um, you know, running the ball will start, for starters, will help us. And, and um, you know, maybe not getting into some of the third and longs that we were in. I was a little frustrated, yeah. You know, that's part of the reason why we went with Joe a little bit more. Um, because uh, I know he got a couple of them back, but... Uh, um, it's something that uh, we have to be able to shore up and and because uh, we we can't afford to to turn the football over without question I think it's are there cut back lanes and your running backs did a better job of seeing like that? yeah potentially you know without just naked eye potentially we did I thought they ran hard and I thought there were some seams in there but um, you know without having the video in front of me I'm not quite sure Last one. back to back losses heading yep. to 
Just, just keep improving. Keep tackling better on defense. Probably go a little bit more ones versus ones and uh, keep working on getting open in, in coverage and keep working on uh, everything. There's nothing that we're not going to work on. There's nothing that we're, we ha can't improve on and, and we have to get better without a doubt.